Hey, it's Shanda from Pink Oatmeal, and today I want to show you how to use rubrics in Google Forms. So we've created the rubric for you. You're going to click here. It's going to prompt you to make a copy. And what I would immediately do is make this your template. So you'll be able to work off of this for every kid that you use this rubric on. So make it your template. You're never actually going to touch the template. It's just your blank slate to work off of. Now when you're ready to use it for one of your kiddos, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and you're going to make a copy. And then you're going to name the copy, whatever you'd like. In this case, I'm just going to pick a kid's name, not a real kid, just a kid. So I'm going to say Kate on and off the bus. Make a copy. So now this is dedicated to Cade. I can even add a description here. Cade, and then say his last name. Something to that matter. And then what you can do is you can edit any of the questions that I have already created for you. As you can see, I have three different things in this rubric that I want quickly checked off and I've assigned a point value to each. And then at the end, I can give a score to that point value. Now you can change a question, you can change wording, you can do whatever you like. If you'd like to add a new question, you just click here and add it. You can assign that question points. It's really up to you. You can make this form work for you. So once you've got your form all set and you want to start using it or have somebody who works with this child start using it, you can get the link. You're gonna copy that link and let's say you've sent it now. Now that the link's been sent, this person is ready to fill it out. So they're gonna enter the date, their name, and then they can start filling it out. Three, three, and maybe two here. And they're gonna calculate that total score. That was eight. Submit it. Simple. The person either got the kid on or off the bus, did that really quick for you. And now what's cool is you can see in real time, oh, I got a response today. Looks like on April 25th, Joel responded. Here's what he answered with the score of eight. But what I really like is when you link it to the sheets, you can create that new spreadsheet and you can see on this date, the total score was eight, two points, three points, three points. I just like this format myself. It's time stamped to when it was done. And there you go, you've got it. So now let's say on a different day, so let's say this was done. Let's go out another month and say, uh, Joe did it again. And this time it went three, three, three. So that would have been a total of nine. Submit. So walking in from a bus, this could easily be done. Now you can say, oh, look, I've got another response. So that's a common response, common response, common. Oh, look, there was a change here. The score was nine. Again, my favorite, view it in the sheets. Joe did it about a month later. Looks like there was an improvement here. The score went up to nine. So that's a pretty cool way you can kind of use these rubrics to track progress. You could use it as a starting point that you've already completed and you can see how the scores change and which scores are changing. And again, if you're going to use, do it with a different kid, you don't want to work off of Cade's template. You want to make a copy and create it for a new student. So you'd put that student's name or initials or whatever you wish right there and make a copy. So that is how you use rubrics in Google Forms.